so here I am again. I am helping you guys in uh, mounting a motor inside your saber. This is useful for lots of different saber projects, mainly ones that utilize the crystal focus board or some kind of soundboard. That way you can make use of the LED current and uh, get the motor to do a little bit different behavior. Um, you can also do this with other types of boards like the Ultra board. You can even do it with the kind of low level Hasbro boards or even an MRFX board. Now, if you just hook the motor up to your Sabre without doing anything fancy and just feeding current to it constantly, it's going to get annoying pretty quickly. <laughs> it's, a motor is just basically a lopsided motor, one that has an offsided weight to the way that the motor spins and that causes vibration just like in your pager or in a cell phone that has a motor in it and all that kind of stuff however of course can you imagine if your cell phone or your pager just started buzzing and just never stopped until you turned it off it would get pretty irritating so what you want to be able to do is shut it on and off or vary the current in it so that maybe it pulses or does something where it's very and dynamic and changing and that way it will be a lot less irritating and a lot more fun and you'll enjoy it a couple ways to wire it up might be, for example, to wire it so that it only goes off when the clash sensor goes off. You can do that with an MRFX board. You could do that with a, uh, a Hasbro or something like that. You can certainly try to set that up with the Crystal Focus, although the best way to do it, I think, would be to hook it up with the momentary button. In other words, if, they hit, if you hit the blaster button or whatever you want to make that sound, or if you hold down the button for lockup, that's a perfect time to have the motor going. Another great thing with Crystal Focus is you can just tie it into the LED current and if you do enough variance with the LED current, that is you don't have like just a solid blade of current, you know, you're actually using the pulse and flicker options. Well, of course, the motor can be made to kind of vary with that if you just dial it in perfectly and all that stuff. You can use a potentiometer um, to do that. If you don't know what any of this stuff is, then you're going to have to do some research on your own. There's all sorts of ways that you could use the motor. But anyways, onto the mounting. You can see from some of the photos here, I use a, a little latching switch here. And what you can do is cannibalize that, pull out the switch part, and use the little pre-threaded screws that it has on there and the, the mounting ability to get the motor inside, pinch it in there. But you can see that the screws can hold the thing in place. You can actually get it onto the hilt and put really tiny screws in there. And, you know, it's very similar to having like a switch set up, but the nice thing is all you have to do is drill two little tiny holes and you're done. That's it. You don't even have to lathe out a section where you have the switch because there is no switch. <laughs> you wouldn't bother with it. And so the motor is hidden underneath. It's touching only the hilt. You'd want to make sure the motor itself is in a rubber casing like I show in these photos. And that way it will not ground out to the hilt and all that kind of stuff. So anyways, I hope that helps you guys out. It's not, of course, the greatest tutorial here that I'm showing. I just wanted to share this information because after trying to mount motors in many different ways over the past year or so, I finally found one that I think is the best way, at least for me. And again, someone else might have a better thinking on this, but I certainly think this is a great way for it to work. The little switch here that I show with the pre-threaded screws is only like a dollar or two dollars or something like that. So cannibalizing it really isn't that big a deal. And there you go. Okay, so you're all set. Give it a shot. And maybe uh, make some responses to this video and tell me if it worked out for you or how you mounted your motors. Peace out. Have fun with your lightsabers.